everybody, Crystal Nevada my hair. I'm super excited about what's going on behind me. I'm redoing my office. I'm making this super great chalkboard. It's gonna be neat. In the meantime, I've got something way more important to talk to you about. I was talking with a client of mine last week. He's thinking about moving here from Illinois. I mean, you can only take so much snow, right? And he said to me, Kristen, it is a buyer's market out there in Phoenix, right? Uh, no. To be honest with you, answering that question is not really that straightforward because like a lot of things in real estate, it depends. In a nutshell, I can tell you this, as the price goes up, this, the buyers have the advantage. In the lower price ranges, it's the sellers calling the shots, and in the upper ranges, it's the buyers. Let me break it down for you in a little more detail, starting with the lowest price range, $175,000 or less. And this is what I like to call a unicorn range because it's very, very difficult to find a nice house in this price range. There's just not enough inventory to meet the demand. Here's a news flash for you. As prices go up, that 175 mark is gonna go up too. If you've got a few more dollars to spend, it does help some. The range between $175,000 and $225,000, it's not as bad, but it's still very, very competitive. You can expect multiple offers, homes flying off the shelves if they're in good shape in this price range. Now, if you've got a, a budget of $225,000 to $300,000, well, now it starts to look a little better for you buyers. It's still the seller's advantage, but not to the extreme. In some cases, you might actually see a little bit of extra inventory. I don't call it extra inventory. Let's just say not an extreme shortage, but it, you, you will have a little bit easier time shopping in this price range. There's probably three to four months of inventory in most areas. And here's one thing that's gonna help is this time of year, our inventory is increasing. As we come through the market uh, cycle, our inventory tends to go up and that's definitely gonna help the buyers. So look for this price range to not be as painful as some of the lower ranges. If your budget is 300 to $500,000, well, now we're talking buyers. Yes, indeed, this range is starting to really favor the buyers. It's starting to look a lot less like the picked over remnants of a 75% off sale. You know what I'm saying? There's some good stuff out there and it's not flying off the shelves in a weekend. So don't be afraid to challenge the seller who hasn't figured out yet that you can't market your $550,000 house like you do a $250,000 house. There might be a little room on that price. Anything between 500 and a million dollars, even better. There's even more choices for you buyers. So it's definitely favoring the buyers as you move up in those price ranges. If you happen to be a lucky lottery winner and you're ready to buy your big McMansion, well, party, party, party. Anything above a million dollars right now is just crazy. There's so many more houses than, than buyers and the number of buyers is dwindling and the number of sellers is just continuing to grow. So yeah, this is, this is your time, million dollar home buyers. This is your time. I guess that about covers it for the Phoenix market. If you have any questions or comments, if you want some help finding your next mansion, well, you know where to find me, Kristen here in phoenix.com, that's where. Go out there and make it a marvelous day.